Hey everyone, this video is on how to apply mud and tape to an inside corner. So I've got five easy steps to follow that will make it easier for you, if you're, especially if you're new at this. So number one, make sure you have all your supplies available. Make sure you have your paper tape, your six inch mud knife, and an ample amount of drywall compound. All right, first, Take your tape, fold it half in two. There's a line right in the middle, all the way out. Just set that aside for now. And another another quick tip on that is this: these trials come with a very sharp point on the edge. File that point off. You don't want that point to be sharp because you could cut through your tape in the corner. So just a quick tip there. All right, so number two, applying the mud. So we're gonna start from the top down. So basically just lay it right in the corner and spread it kind of like you're spreading something like peanut butter on a piece of toast. So you wanna spread that evenly all the way down. You wanna fill, fill in the corner if it's got a gap. You want to do that on both sides. Make, for, make sure those cracks are filled up. All right, very important, you got coverage all the way down. You don't want to have any dry spots behind your mud. And if your mud's too dry, wet it up. Get it wet for you, because it'll, it'll dry out quick. All right, step three. You take your tape that you had folded already, and we're gonna, we're gonna put that tape right into the corner. Right up close to the top. You, you can stay about a quarter inch off the top and you're going to push that tape into the corner with your finger all the way down. All right, once you get it in there, push pretty hard pressure with your finger. Push it hard, tight into the corner with your finger all the way up. So once you get that push tight into the corner, your next step is to, is to pull the mud out from behind it. So I usually start at the top, but you don't have to. You angle your trowel like that and pull the mud out from behind it. And I do both sides. And then at the top, you can push it out. Push it out like that. All right, pretty hard pressure, pretty, pretty heavy pressure there. All right, so you run that, you run that mud out all the way down. Once again, keep your, keep that angle, angled like that so it pushes the mud out. And this is where, if that was sharp, you could potentially cut into the paper. So just make sure that's rounded all over. All right, last step. We're gonna skim one side. Now that you got all the wrinkles out, 
you got all the mud out, we're going to skim one side. So it doesn't matter where you start, you start top or bottom. And the reason I only do one side is because they, if you were to try to do both sides, you're going to cut into the mud that you just put on that side. So it's easier just to do one side. You're going to be back in here tomorrow. So just do one side. And keep it tight. So when you, this is kind of medium pressure, not, not near as heavy as, as pulling the mud out. And you kind of twist your trowel against the wall to feather that edge in. Again, maybe kind of medium pressure, light pressure. The, the more you put it on there, the, the less pressure you, you put to it. Once you get it kind of flattened out. That's just about it. If you got some stuff kind of hanging around there, just make sure you get it all flattened out nice. If you get any on the ceiling, make sure you, you get it off while it's wet. It's a lot easier to get off wet. And pretty much leave it like that until it dries. And then you can skim this side tomorrow after this is dry and it won't cut into it. And that's pretty much how I do an inside corner.